Hey, yo. It's July the 2nd, 2017. And real briefly, you know, I just posted a video pertaining to uh, this system in which, you know, I've worked out and it's a very simple system. There is hardly any effort involved at all. There's no willpower involved. Meanwhile, um, you start to shed body fat and you'll continuously shed it until you have just about as much body fat as you want. However much you want, you're completely in control. We're completely in control of however much body fat that we that we want, all right, in this system. And, and as I described, it's a lifestyle. It's actually, there's nothing temporary about it. It's not one of these diet plans out here where you're going to get the fat back. You ain't never going to get it back, all right? You don't need it necessarily unless you want it because we live in america if you want to be fat and stuff go for it i'm not i'm not hating on you but a lot of people they do want to lose their body fat all right so we've gone over the preliminary like just the beginning steps and there's going to be more steps like i said this is a lifestyle and you don't have to implement all the steps you want and you could do whatever steps you want and you could do them at your own pace here's the thing the whole system is kind of uh, based upon individuality like that in the way that you do whatever you want, do it at your own pace and stuff like that. And meanwhile, you're going to see results. You're going to see some mad results. So, all right. No effort involved. No willpower involved also. And I want to stress that. I want to stress that right now because a lot of people, they might think, oh, well, this is going to be a lifestyle. It's going to be where I have to change my lifestyle permanent. All right. I don't know if I could handle that because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that they might be thinking, you know, um, I don't know if I can handle that because there's certain food items that I just can't let go of. Just can't let go of them. Here's the thing. I got to tell you, I very much relate to you on that, all right? I've already discussed breakfast foods, but just for example, uh, a bacon jalapeno cheeseburger. You can go down uh, to Rocky's there on Greg Street and get it. It's phenomenal, right? So dreams are made of, right? The thing is, I love those burgers and stuff. And I'll, I hope I never see the day where, I, you know, I no longer eat those burgers. I'm going to eat those burgers whenever I want to. They're amazing, right? And certain things like that, I'm not going to let go of them. thing is, what i got to explain to you, you don't have to let go of them. You never, all right? You don't have to have willpower. That's... That's actually uh, preposterous and stuff. We, we're going to put willpower to the side. We don't need it no more. You need whatever you want. All right. Just for example, I'm going to give you an example of what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, very early in the evening, before it even began to get dark out, I was uh, given, someone provided me with like some whiskey and, and like a beer and stuff, you know. Thing is, usually I don't drink. I'm not much of a drinker. I don't, it's not entertaining to me, to be honest with you. I don't really drink very much, but if someone gives me some drinks, I might go ahead and partake, and that's what I did yesterday some, on some whiskey, and it was strong, dude. Strong whiskey and beer, and so I got a little bit drunk, just a little bit, and it was early in the evening. Tammy, my homegirl Tammy, she mentioned that she was cooking, she was about to cook some enchiladas, and I said, my drunk self was like, and I zeroed in. I was like, what? Did you say enchiladas? Did you say enchiladas to me? And she said, yeah, I said that. And I said, well, it's, it's possible that you can make me some of those enchiladas. And she said, yeah, I'll make them for everybody. And I was like, whoa, okay, so I'm drunk, right? There ain't no way in the world I'm going to deny enchiladas at that point. It's just not going to happen, right? doesn't need to happen. What happened after... After that, maybe an hour later, I got my hands on these enchiladas. And what I did basically is I ate what can only be described as an irresponsible amount of enchiladas. Like, a, almost, it was almost disgusting. Like, if you were watching me, it almost would have been disgusting to see me shovel down enchilada after enchilada. But I did. It was like seven or eight of them. And I'm talking about big size enchiladas, like extra big enchiladas, about seven or eight of them. I packed them down. You know, I was feeling all sorts of different ways. Thing is, like I got to explain to you is, you know, all the, for the rest of that uh, evening and even some into the today, I've been kind of paying for it. 
to be honest with you, in the way that, like, you know, my body is still trying its best to, uh, because the enchiladas we made were with flour tortilla, and just trying to, its best to digest it. You will pay for stuff like that. Everybody knows we've gotten into instances where we just ate stupid amounts, and then the next day, like the rest of the day, and into the next day, you're going to pay for it. All right, that's that just comes with the territory. But what I explain to you is, in no way does it make you have to worry about your weight necessarily, because um, it, it, the further along you go with this lifestyle, the the faster your metabolism will be. All right, you keep going down that path, and your metabolism will speed up. So if you eat some sort of big meal like that, if you eat a crazy amount of enchiladas. If you want to have a whole box of Krispy Kreme donuts at midnight, if you want to, you know, if you wake up and the whole family is eating all these breakfast foods at freaking seven in the morning and you want to be a part of that, well, you go ahead and you do that. All right. You have yourself a great time. Don't you ever think about calories and things like that? Who cares? Eat because, you know, like, especially on these holidays and stuff where everybody's congregating and eating, eat, eat to your heart's content. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Don't think about, you know what I mean? There's no reason to think about, oh, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. Do it. We live in America. We live in America. And see, that is completely uh, accepted. It's very acceptable in this lifestyle in which I'm describing to you. In which, you know, we still, even though we can eat whatever we want, uh, whenever we want, you know, even though we, we are fully capable of doing that, we're still going to drop body fat continuously until we we don't want to do it anymore. It is going to be that easy, all right? So, bucker your seatbelts, all right? It's going to be a crazy ride and stuff. We're going to uh, live out all our dreams and our fantasies are all going to come to fruition and stuff, even throughout the tribulation, all right? It's important that we concentrate on our health because that's going to prove to be crucial. All right, so it's Ju July the 2nd, 2017, and I'll holler at y'all.